Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering the line selectability functionality in table control with Pizarre. In the previous video, we have written the logic to insert the selected lines to the database table. Now, after inserting the selected lines to database table, suppose if I am running this particular program. Suppose I will go for order number one, submit. If you are selecting the records and clicking on to receive payment, those records will save into database table, but those records should not appear here. Yes. So now what we need to do, we need to delete these records also. You all know what is the name of the internal table, LT underscore final. So we will delete the selected records from this LT final also. So now after this, once it is inserted to database table, we will write delete LT underscore final internal table where SEL is equal to capital X. You are deleting the selected records from the internal table. And you all know this is your table control internal table. So once you will delete, we will get the rest of the records here. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, for the best understanding, we will learn up to this level into that debugging mode. So, I will put a breakpoint in PAI. I will put a breakpoint in PBO also because after deleting the lines, you all know the PBO of the particular screen will also call yes. So, I will show you here also. I'll put a breakpoint in PBO also. Now I will run this particular module pool program. Whenever I will run, firstly PBO of 100 screen will call. You all know PBO always call before displaying a particular screen. So PBO called and now we have the screen. I am going for order number one. I will click on to submit button. On submit button, action triggered and you all know PAI. Yes, PAI will trigger because we performed the action. So this whole logic will execute and it will display that data into the table control. Now, before displaying that data, Again, PBO of 100 will call. You all know PBO call every time before displaying a screen. So now PBO called and yes, now we have the screen 100. Now, suppose I'm selecting first and third record. I will click on to receive payment. Now PAI will trigger first if condition is false. So system will go to this if condition. I will do F8. Now this if condition is true. Now LT final has three records. One by one, we will pass that data to work area. So now first record will go to work area. Whenever I will do F6, you can see first record is in work area. What is first work area SCL is equal to X? Yes, because we selected the first record. So if condition is true. Now we are passing that data to new work area. What is our new work area? WA payment. Now from WA payment, we are passing it to LT payment, our new internal table. So our first selected record 
is in the new work area. You just see, we selected one and 10. We selected one and 10, sorry. This one and 10. So one and 10 is in the new work area. Now we are passing it to internal table. Now in this internal table, we have the record. Now, now loop will go for second iteration. Now loop will go for second iteration. But for the second record, LWA payment cell, LWA final select is not X because we have not selected the record. So this if condition is false. So it will not append to internal table. Now loop will go for third record. For the third record, SCL is capital X. So third record, we are passing it to our new internal table. And you can see in LT underscore payment, we have the 1 and 10, 1 and 30. And this is what we selected, 1, 10 and 1, 30. Now, our LT payment has two records. Now, loop will not continue further because three record processed. This if condition is true because our internal table has two records. It means internal table is not initial. Now these two records we are inserting to database table. Now these two records we are deleting from LT final internal table. See, this is internal table operation. We are passed to using the internal table operation delete for this internal table. This is database table operation. Now we are deleting. Now what PBO of this 100 screen will call. Now just see LT final has remaining one record only. Previously it has three record. Two records moved and we deleted it. Now it has only one record. Now PBO will call. Now whenever PBO will call, now you can see LT final has only one record. And because of that only it will, it will now display the one record. It is very important to understand because people has a thinking. We deleted it and it's done. After deleting, SAP is calling PBO. So SAP is binding the new items with the table control. So now LT final has only, only one record. That's why we are able to see one record here. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in that debugging mode. And I have written the logic to delete the line items from this LT final internal table also. And the most important under the, and, and, and most important point is you should understand that PBO is calling every time before displaying a screen. You deleted the record from the internal table, but it does not mean that yes, it will display. It is going to PBO and in PBO, we have the logic to bind the data to the table control. That's why it is displaying the one record. In the next video, we will go for validation part and we will do further things with this particular functionality. So that's it in this video. Thank you.